right hello 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 uh it has come to my attention that uh some of us didn't uh get the initial kind of setup tips and tricks <laughs> for uh for zebras just to get a, a smoother experience this is a totally a, a preference thing uh, but uh just the, the way i like to set up whenever whenever i get zbrush in a new machine or a new version or uh what have you you know, in the, this is in 2021, this is already default, but, um, you know, for older versions, we would have had uh, the MacCap um, Red Wax, right? Um, so a couple of things to uh, to get started with ZBrush. Uh, oftentimes, when we're, when we're booting, we're going to get uh, these kind of gray lines out here. That's one thing that I'll want to get rid of. Uh, we have this gradient background. Uh, not super useful for uh, being able to really perceive your forms very well, just distracting and kind of fight with the backgrounds. We don't really want that. It might be nice for presentation, not so much we're working with. Uh, and if we're working with older versions, I know that's no longer relevant. Um, this uh, red, uh, MacApp Red Wax, uh, the classic ZBrush uh, material. So a couple of things for the quick start uh, that we more or less want to do um, at first is we're going to go to document right here. And over here when it says back, down here we have range. So if we just take that away, that'll make it um, nice and flat and this is more or less what we want. I'll keep it on for a second because uh, what I want to do is make sure that we don't have this empty space that we can't really utilize it and if we're not using all of our screen size it's just it's really really just wasted real estate we're not taking advantage of it uh, so generally speaking uh, what we want to do for first boot on uh, zebra is go to document hit new document don't worry about whatever's here uh, and you'll see that it's not really gonna give us everything that we need so we're gonna go and we're going to <laughs> auto fit window size let's try that one and now new document and now it's fitting our window size okay so um with that we can also go back to here flatten this and we know that we're using our full uh our full real estate and we don't have really any distractions now this will be reset once we close the brush and start it over again unless back here on document save as startup doc so we press on this and um we'll do that right, it'll tell us this has been stored blah 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 you're good so and it also tells you what to do if you want to reset it uh so that's one um something else if you're using two monitors and maybe uh you have a um, you have a tablet or what have you, and you want the ZBrush to start on that monitor. You know, you can grab this window, res resize it, move it to the monitor that you want. You'll find that when you close it, it will um, it will reset and start over in whatever your default screen is, right? To uh, overcome that, you can go uh, over here to uh, Preferences, Config, and Store Config. You click on this and they'll remember where your, among many other things, you will remember where your window is and it will start it on the screen that you want. Uh, something else to keep in mind is when we have this uh, material, um, it could be pretty, it's very iconic for ZBrush, but uh, personally I prefer to use the basic material. Uh, any of the gray ones, it just gives us better, um, better kind of understanding of of, uh, of the forms and being able to see what it is. Uh, and once you select the basic material, you can hit save as startup material and it will be saved as startup material. Yeah. Um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, as you know, whenever you're placing a tool uh, in here, you gotta hit T, which will go into edit mode. This is, you can only do this before you've done anything else. You hit two, now you can modify it in 3D space, right? Uh, and if this is a polymesh 3D, you're not really going to be able to edit it unless you hit make polymesh 3D over here, right? And now you're ready to now you're ready to edit uh, and sculpt whatever you need. Um, what else do we have? What else do we have? Uh, one last thing. Um, a, lo a lot of people would want to go right here to file and save as. 
Uh, this will save a lot of other information that you may not always want to save because it really bloats up your file size. Uh, it'll save if you have any custom materials, lighting, uh, different configs, like just a document, like the background uh, being flat or whatever. Uh, oftentimes I find it's uh, much, much more efficient to just go over here to Tool and Save As. And with that, it'll just save the tool. And whenever I want to load, I'm going to load from here. And that will just give me the tool, this mesh. Uh, and I don't need to worry about materials or anything because I already have it set up. Um, and it should be good to go. I think you even it even keeps the colors if I remember correctly but that's a good um that's a good way to approach it I very very rarely if ever need to save the file because those files tend to get very very large um and that's the kind of a quick start on ZBrush once we got that going we're ready to get to work so thanks for watching and I hope that helps